Hey, everybody. Oh, wow. Well, okay, hold on. See, I am a little older now. Sister needs some glasses. It is said behind every man is a powerful woman. In this, in this case, that statement couldn't be more profound. My name is Lynn Mabry, and I'm one of the original brides of Funkenstein. Yeah, baby! I love you too, man. Uh, the Women of Funk made its presence known throughout its history. Back in uh, 1971, it was George's longtime friend, the late great queen of funk, Malia Franklin, who introduced George to Bootsy Collins. Yes. In 1976, George enrolled the first official female members of Parliament Funkadelic, Debbie Wright and Jeanette Washington. Yeah. And that, of course, was to the historic Mothership Connection Tour. The following year, Don Silva and I joined the Funky Flock. The Funky Flock, that was us. E.L. Just go. Okay, well, no, no, no. we won't go there. We won't go there. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, not only uh, did he embrace us, but he ad had us to perform on a few CDs, such as Fred Wesley and the Horny Horns, Eddie Hazel. And countless tracks of George's arsenal of hits. He did have a lot of songs we were singing on. That was like, we would do like 10 a night or something. That's what it felt like anyway. Anyway, during the many landings of the mothership, I think George looked upon us and saw diamonds in the rough. Setting the stage for the birth of the Brides of Funkenstein. We released our debut album, Funk or Walk. And our single, Disco to Go, was the top 10 hit on the Billboard chart. I love you too. <laughs> Malia joined Jeanette and Debbie, and Parlette took flight, releasing their debut album, The Pleasure Principle. Yeah! In the years to follow, Shirley Hayden and Janice Evans also recorded on Parlette on the Invasion of the Booty Snatchers. <laughs> and Sheila Horn and Jeanette Magruder, who was our backup singers at the time, the Bridesmaids, they were revamped as the new brides and joined Don for Never Buy Texas from a Cowboy. <laughs> Former Friends of Distinction vocalist Jessica Cleves would also join P-Funk in 1979. By the mid-80s, vocalist Belita Woods would join the P-Funk All-Stars. And the new millennium saw the arrivals of Kendra Foster, Kim Manning, right? And George's granddaughter, Stivia, from the P-Funk stage, yes. And I think it's Sativa, right? Sativa, that's so beautiful, that's beautiful. Anyway, music history has been graced with some of the greatest women artists around the world. 16 years ago, I decided to shift gears in the industry and I took on artist management. Uh, it is my honor to take part in the industry in another vernacular uh, and also to take the responsibility to contribute to the careers of artists who have truly had their heart and souls for the arts. So, it is my pleasure to announce coming to the stage to pay tribute to my ex-husband. It's rough. It's rough out here. Or, you know what? Anyway, to my ex-husband, and you know I love you, George, from the bottom of my heart. You know I do. It is my pleasure to announce to the stage to pay tribute to George, my client, my dear friend and business partner, the amazing Sheila E.